What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna drop a little money scheme for you out of the gun wing slot offset formation. This is out of the Seahawks playbook. For So for you that asked me about the Seahawks playbook, this is gonna be it for you right here. Uh, you got lucky because I was already gonna do a, a, a little money scheme out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook, and this is the same formation. Uh, and it's in a couple of other playbooks as well. The play that brought us here that's gonna be like the, the cover three, cover two, cover four bomb is gonna be the, double po the PA double post. Um, like I said, you're going to see, you know, a continuation of these same route patterns out of different formations. Um, and you can't just go and pick a play and expect to be able to bomb. I'm going to show you how to set up every single play that has some type of double pose. Uh, the best way you possibly can set it up to get the best results. So like I said, that's going to be the play that brought us here. But let's go ahead and jump into a couple of audibles to give you a little scheme out of this. So one of the main ones that i would highly recommend is double pivot this is your man killer right here this is going to destroy man coverage you can already tell those two routes right there we'll, we'll show you how it is against man coverage so you can see how good it does work um oh one trap highly 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 recommend it um now reasons i always recommend a run play so when you hit people with money plays you know here and there and they notice that you have to get outside the pocket sometimes what they're going to do is they're going to spread their d-line out once they do that audible down to that 01 trap more than likely they're gonna guess pass you're gonna get pancakes you're gonna turn it into a 20 yard run it's happened to me so many times uh there's other run plays in there but i highly recommend the 01 trap it is one of the best run plays in the game out of shotgun i would just go with the 01 trap but do it you know if you, if you got a play that you're comfortable with stick with that play this play right here is just kind of optional um you don't have to add this play at all this is just a play i like because of the tight end route uh both tight end routes at that and then the corner route out there um I'll, I'll just switch up the the route combos here and there with it but like i said if there's another play you like pick what you're comfortable with pick what you know this is just something that's optional and then the pa double post that that's the one that i you, you know it's kind of mandatory that's what's going to make this play work it's going to scare your opponent into getting beat deep this is what like i said this is the play that brought us to this scheme so we're going to go ahead and jump into the the practice field and show you how we beat cover two cover three and cover four and beat man coverage as well so let's go ahead and jump into the practice field all right, we're going to go against cover three first. Now, when you see a post route, most people, what they're going to go ahead and tell you is just go ahead and put the inside route on a streak, and this is how you beat cover three, which is true. You can beat cover three, but sometimes you'll struggle because the, the route takes a long time to develop. Another thing that I forgot to mention, make sure you got the uh, whatever hash you're on. So if I'm on the right hash, you want your running back to the right side of the field. If you're on the left hash, you want your running back to the left side of the field. It works that much better. It's not mandatory, but highly, highly recommend it. It's gonna make the play work that much better. Now, what I like to do is motion this receiver in the inside out. And what that's gonna do is bring the outside receiver in the the post route on the numbers is that sweet spot that makes everything work that much better um and then from there i put my running back on a curl route i put my a tight end on a five and out and the b tight end on a delay fade so this is what it's going to look like to bomb cover uh cover three let's go ahead and run the plate and see what happens go ahead and double team the most outside guy blitzing if you know who it is um if you don't just mark the out the most outside guy on the line or if it's a db uh like for example this guy right here go ahead and mark him so you can make sure your line picks him up um and then from there just go ahead and run the play like i said man if you can get outside the pocket it always helps and then right there you can bomb it just lead it all the way to the right you don't necessarily need a burner to burn cover three but it always helps um i would try to have that threshold of 94 speed or better for any type of money play downfield like this it just makes the play work that much better let's run it one more time like i said this this receiver it you know i know he's not going to motion out but you have that option to motion him out and that brings the x receiver in then you're going to put y on a streak a on a five and out b on a drag and then you're running back on a crow route now you're running back in your tight end the a tight end you have different options you can even put the a tight end on the delay fade and do something different with the b tight end this is just like this is the setup i like because just in case they have somebody really far out on the right side that b tight end will pick them up at least um and the running back is a really good check down like let's just take a look at it real quick when you sprint out nobody really guards him you can see he's open like right there uh it took him a while to get open because he got stuck on a line which does happen sometimes so that's just one of the things you got to worry about 
but for the most part he will get open for a good amount of time nobody will really guard him because we're rolling out the pocket when we do um and that's just a really good check down same thing with a tight end i mean you could do different things you could put them on a flat you could put them on a five and out but i wouldn't put it i wouldn't put them on anything deep because he's if you put somebody deep on the right side of the field that's going to make that cornerback go further out than we want so make sure you don't let that happen we'll run it one more time and then we'll go into cover four or cover two um just get outside the pocket once he crosses that safety's face lead the ball all the way out to the right side of the field you can see we're wide open once again you don't need a burner but try to have that threshold just to make the play work that much better let's go ahead and jump into cover four all right this is going to be against cover four as you can see we have the play flipped so against cover four if you're on the right hash you want your running back on the left if you're on the left hash you want your running back on the right you're going to set this up different uh than you would against cover three. First thing you're going to do is put b on a, a streak like that delay fade a the running back put him on a little curl route and then just go ahead and put x on a streak you don't have to you can put him on a five and in like this you can do different things with them but i just like to kind of get him out the picture and he drags the safety in the cornerback on the right side you know kind of out of the way so that's just a plus and then double team the most outside guy blitzing this takes a little bit longer than cover three to develop so it does help to get out the pocket i think the only way you can really run this against cover four is getting out the pocket so it's, it's very important that you get that double team off um they're only sending three but when you do get out the pocket they break free a little bit quicker than they normally would if you stay in the pocket so another thing you could do is put your running back on a five and out which actually i recommend against cover four anyway so you can have that check down over there with you uh and then just go ahead and run the play like i said it takes a little bit longer to develop but watch the cornerback he's not going to react just lead the ball all the way out to the outside and you got a cover four bomb right there don't be afraid of that cornerback he's not going to switch his hips he's not going to follow you uh like i said you got to flip the play but do not worry about that cornerback he's not going to follow you he's going to keep dropping back like that he's not going to react to what you're doing uh and that's why this play works like this and that's why you're able to be cover four we're running one more time so you can see that it is consistent though um just make sure your blockers engage that block if they're on a the quarterback contain don't hurry up and sprint out you don't have to just be patient wait a little bit like about right there and then get out the pocket and then you'll see why it's going to get open just throw the ball oh, wow what the hell just happened right there i don't know what happened right there but he paused for a second uh we'll run it one more time i, I just just so you can see that it is consistent um remember flip, flip the play make sure because the hash mark is important you won't be able to get this play off the same way you would if you had it set up like cover three it's just not going to work as good um let's go ahead and run, run this real quick one more time for you so you can see that it does work that was just kind of miscommunication on the route right there but let him right there right about right there before he passes the cornerback you're gonna throw the ball don't worry he's gonna just pass the cornerback up uh i just i don't know why the cornerbacks react like that but that is what they do and that's why this play is working um if they did switch their hips you know he would follow me like he's supposed to uh this play wouldn't work we'll run it one more time i know i said that but i just want to show you that it is consistent and when to throw the ball throw the ball before he passes the cornerback right about there throw the ball you're gonna get it off you don't need a burner uh duvernay's like 93 speed uh it does help if you do have that speed like always but you can get away even with a 90 speed cornerback or wide receiver because the cornerback does not react it's he kind of just waits on the receiver to run his route and then once you throw the ball then he's gonna react so the speed really doesn't matter try to avoid having slow guys but it does work even with slow guys let's go ahead and jump into cover two all right this is gonna be against cover two the, all, the most important thing is just putting that wide receiver on a slant this is how you're gonna run it you can leave the play as is but you know we got to get outside the pocket sometimes so i'm gonna go get a, give myself a delay fade give that extra cushion over there i would actually leave the a tight end on the route he's on it's actually a really good route um and then i would put the running back on a crow route or i'll put him on a five and out like that and then double team the most outside guy uh you're gonna see x gets open that's what happens with the post and the slant combo look out look at the safety how he's nowhere near in the zone he's supposed to be in um that slant route and uh, post combo is the most deadly against cover two it just completely destroys it uh we'll run a couple more times so you can see this consistent um you can even keep the play action if you wanted to the most important thing is the wide receiver on a slant the x receiver on a post route and just double team the most outside guy you don't have to pressure yourself to get outside the pocket right away but then you eventually you have to that was just good a little pocket presence right there but uh it doesn't take long to develop this, this is probably the quickest one to develop uh i was just pay, paying attention to the uh d line right there we'll run it one more time so you can see that it is consistent let's go ahead and put the running back on a five and out double team the most outside guy blitzing 
and then just run the play. You can see that it, it develops pretty quick. Once that receiver cuts, you can basically throw the ball right there. Um, not that long to develop. Uh, this is, and it always beats cover two the same way every single time. There will be times the middle linebacker will follow you. Uh, but if that's the case, you're probably just going to outrun them. Let's go to jump into man coverage. All right, this is going to be against man coverage. Simple play to beat man coverage. Just audible to the pivot play. Y or B is going to get open. I would put my best receiver at the Y position with good route running. Because if you get pressed by a good cornerback, you'll kind of get locked up. But then you can always just count on the tight end. The tight end is going to get open. I mean, it's just pick your poison. Either one of the tight ends. Like right here, we'll wait for A receiver, uh, the A tight end, see if he gets open. Right there, he got open on the cut, and they even have a safety play in the middle of the field. And then if you were watching the B, the B tight end, he just got completely open. Uh, let's go ahead and audible to that one more time. If you want to change the running back's route, you can change his route up. You don't have to run that. Um, I just leave it there. You can see right there the B tight end wide open, nobody around him. Um, it doesn't matter if it's uh, a cover two man with two safeties at the top. The only way they're going to really stop that is if they put, put some flats out there. But if that's the case where they put flats, then you got the A tight end on that little tendon end right there. That also you can clearly see. I mean, that's not the best route running, uh, best route running tight end right there. And he can easily beat him right there. Uh, bad pass by me. But you have options. And then you can easily throw in some slant routes. Uh, or you can just do a simple curl route like this. I mean, let me go audible. You can do a simple curl route with X. Let's just go ahead and block the running backs. We'll get the playoff quicker. Just do a timing curl route, low ball it, easy way to beat man coverage. There's all kinds of things, uh, all kinds of things you can do out of this formation, but I think this is the best play to beat man coverage just because of the, the two routes right there. Like I said, if you have a good route running uh, wide receiver, he'll completely destroy the, cor the cornerback in that route right there. Um, Duvernay is not the best route running uh, wide receiver, so he's struggling a little bit. Let's see if he gets open. He actually got open right there. Very good man beater route on both sides of the ball. And then, like I said, you could put a simple curl route to beat man coverage. So there's all there's all kinds of things you can do. Since we're out here already, let's go ahead and audible to the 0-1 trap. Uh, this is a good defense to run a, the 0-1 trap against. You know, they, they're, they're really spread out. This is when you will decide to run it. You Obviously, they're going to probably be playing some quarterback contain. Um, this is, I mean, the 0-1 trap just speaks for itself. It's one of the best run plays in the game. You're like almost guaranteed three yards every every time you run it, especially if the middle of the hole's opened up. Um, and there'll be times where there's four down linemen and they'll spread it wide open and you hit them with that 0-1 trap and it's over. Um, and that's basically the little scheme right there. You can run those three plays and then add in a fourth if you want, whichever one you're more, most comfortable with. Um, but that's going to be it for this game. Hope y'all enjoyed, especially the guy that asked for something out of the Seahawks. Um, very good scheme to bomb cover three, cover four, and cover two, and then beat man coverage and, you know, get some really good results. With all that being said, though, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it.